Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot, and I'm here to give you guys your daily message. We're going to tap into the energy, see what's going on with you for today, December 16, 2020. Before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Aries, as you all know, my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, guys, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles if need be. If you would like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Cross watchers are always welcome. And please don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and tap into this energy, see what is going on with Aries for today. What is the overall energy for Aries universe? Overall energy, the strength. Who else got that? Somebody got this in their reading, the strength, and then you got the four cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you are gathering up your strength after a while where you've kind of pulled away where you felt that you missed an opportunity to move forward with somebody in a connection, you, you've just gathered up your strength. And you're actually getting ready to get some offers here because with this Four of Cups here, it looks like they're trying to offer this person a cup, okay? You may not see it just yet, but there is going to be an offer here. With the Page of, with the page of Swords here, the person that you were dealing with in the past, they were very um, childish, okay? This person played a lot of emotional games, um, with this Queen of Cups, they were very unstable, okay? You could have even been married to this person. This connection is currently out in the cold, okay? I feel for a lot of you guys, you waited around to see if anything can grow in this connection, but it just became too burdensome, okay? The lies just became too big for you. This person would definitely lie and tell you, oh, I'm going to come over, we're going to go out, I want to sit down and talk to you, blah, blah, blah. But they would never follow through with that. Why? Because this person was too busy out and about partying with their Queen of Wands here. You got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay? This person was just doing them. This person had you in a third party situation. If, and it could, if third parties don't necessarily mean sexual connections, but it could be friends, family that, that were... Um, getting into this connection with the star card you have decided to move away and heal you have decided to pull your energy from a, a situation that isn't serving you any purpose and it's time for you to heal what else for the universe and you're going straight into victory baby with the chariot you are going straight into victory you no longer are going to fight for a connection that has no 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 reason to fight for anymore you're going to find stability you're going to find stability within yourself and possibly with another person after you remove yourself from this situation that broke your heart where there was no love, no beginnings, no new beginnings here. You have decided to pull away. And you may have the opportunity here with a Queen of Pentacles here or King of Pentacles. Remember, there's no gender in tarot. But this person is going to be a very stable person in your life. There's going to be victory there. But you got to start healing yourself in order to allow this person into your life. You will be taking a leap of faith. For a lot of you guys, I feel that you're going to take a leap of faith to walk away from this connection. You may be confused. You may be scared to do so. But for it is time. It's time for you to take that leap of faith. This person was very noncommittal. This person was very noncommittal here. Very, very noncommittal. This person made you feel like you were being backstabbed every single second. Okay, This person had no loyalty towards you. Okay, this person would communicate with you whenever they felt like it with the Eight of Wands. And generally, nine times out of ten, there was literally no communication with you and this person for weeks. Okay, you could have lived with this person. You could have shared a home with this person. But now it's an unhappy home. This person probably could have hung out around you and the family a lot. And all of a sudden, just stopped coming around, stopped putting the work into the connection. Because they started lying. They started cheating. They started being deceptive. They started making you feel as an option. Okay. This person made you feel like an option. But I feel that when you take this leap of faith, you're going straight into victory. When you take this leap of faith, you're going straight into victory. With the Six of Swords, it's time for you to pack it up and move on. It's time for you to pack it up and move on. Yes, you're lonely. You're lonely and you're sad because you're seeking love. 
you're wanting love, but this person is not going to give you that, okay? I'm telling you, you and this person rarely even communicate, okay? And when they come in here, they come in here with false promises with this page of pentacles. They tell, they, they give you this little bit of an offer. Oh, well, I'm going to start coming back around. We're going to start doing things differently. You and I are going to have this new beginning, and it's all a lie. It's all a lie with the Ace of Swords here in the reverse. This person is very in and out. This person, I'm telling you, they're only worried about themselves. They're not trying to get married. They're not trying to have a husband. They're not trying to have a wife, okay? This person's trying to do them. What else do you This person doesn't know what they want with the judgment call in the reverse. They have no idea what they want. They have no idea, but it's time for you to walk away and, and balance yourself out already. Balance your situation out. You will find a soulmate. Okay, you're going to find the soulmate. You're going to be in a relationship sooner rather than later. The second you decide to end this situation and go towards your new beginning. The second you decide to take that leap of faith. Let's go ahead and get you some advice cards here and see what's going on. Coming apart, separation, endings, disconnect. There's a disconnect in this relationship, totally. I'm telling you, the second you decide to come apart from this person, the second you decide to separate, and you take that leap of faith, you're opening up the doors to beautiful new beginnings here for you. There's a lot of victory awaiting you on the other side. You got a soulmate coming in. Wow. New beginnings. How there there's I don't know what else to say. New beginnings. It's written all over the all over your reading. It's just when you decide to take that leap of faith and move on is when the new beginnings are going to open up for you. They're going to be coming towards you. And you're going to meet someone that's a soulmate. Look, you got the Six of Cups. Someone that you feel like you have known them forever. They're gonna. It's going to be that, that comfortable of a connection. You will be very, very happy. Very happy. Alrighty, Aries, I hope this resonates for you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. If you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. You have a good one. Bye.